have your own self-worth. And me, I can never be intimidated in my political life. Can never be intimidated. Because I've seen many people come and go. I've seen many powerful people come and go. I've seen presidents come here and go. I have seen people who, on their word, you would leave this house and you'd be locked in the same day. They have come and gone. I have seen very respected women in this country like Grace Onyango, who was in the committee for the, tri for the special investigations relating to the disappearance of uh, 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 J.M., yeah, yeah. And that made me, made me very proud because those days there were very few women. And she stood firm. She was required to change a report of the National Assembly. And she stood firm. So I, I want to plead with you. I want to plead with you. We got a heavy task. And if people out there feel you can be intimidated and you've been brought to this house with all the powers that we have, including the trial of a governor. Imagine next time the, you may have a motion for the trial of, a, of the president. Will you be intimidated? So I, I, I urge you, for the future of this country, in the performance of your constitutional duties, never be intimidated. And, and, and if my day... If my day comes, if my day comes, I'll accept it. If my day comes, I'll accept it. But my conscience, the way I've been brought up, my conscience, I will never sell it. I will never. In two ways, it can be unconstitutional if it does not follow the process that is already in the current constitution before it's amended. Or it can be unconstitutional because it results, it results in something that does not accord with constitutionalism. Mr. Speaker, if today there was a popular initiative that suggests that we must exterminate one of the 43 ethnicities in this country, as happened in the Holocaust and elsewhere, it would be unconstitutional, even if it came through this house and was adopted. Because in substance, it's unconstitutional. Or in this house, if today we decided that the presidency will only retreat in one ethnic group, it would result in that. I'm not speaking to the document yet. I'm speaking to the theory. Constitutional scholars agree that you can have a constitutional amendment that is unconstitutional. Now, what we have done... And professors of law like John Buddy is saying it's not true. But that is okay, because that is your view. I am talking about the law. John Buddy, you've not stepped in law school, so just allow me. Now, the, the thing, in our case, there were issues that were raised. In our case, there were issues that were raised about fairness of Schedule 2. There were issues that were raised about constitutionality. There were issues that were raised about completeness. I will not speak to them, because they're in the document. But to be fair, because there are equally members, including lawyers, who do not agree with me, and it is, they are entitled, because in law, there is no strict answer to anything. There are lawyers who believe that no constitutional amendment can be unconstitutional. What we have done, Mr. Speaker, and that was the midway path, we put the view on constitutionality, 